The Kansas City Chiefs is a very strong team. They are king. But against the Miami Dolphins, the king almost lost his crown. Let's take a look at the most unfortunate Miami Dolphins defeat of the season to the Chiefs. When you play Kansas City's offense, you're going to get tested and must cover the entire field for 60 minutes. The Dolphins' defense was up to the challenge early, forcing takeaways and frustrating Mahomes and company. They held the league's most explosive offense to just 14 first-half points, but it was only a matter of time before the Chiefs went over the top. The first drive of the second half started harmlessly, with a check-down pass to running back Clyde edwards elaire The rookie took the flat pass, eluded multiple defenders, and turned that simple completion into a 25-yard gain. Two plays later, Mahomes took advantage of an injury to safety Bobby McCain and went deep downfield and found Tyreek Hill behind coverage. The result was a 45-yard scoring strike and a Chiefs 21-10 lead. Even though the Dolphins' defense played well, they gave up too many chunk yardage plays along the way. Touchdowns of 32, 44 and at least 15 plays going for 13 yards or more. You must also include the explosive punt return for touchdown by Michael Hardman that went for 67 yards that extended the KC lead to 28-10. Kansas City has a team that can score quickly, moving down the field on scoring drives that last just over a few minutes. Miami's defense stalled and slowed down this high-powered attack using multiple coverages and different looks up front along the line of scrimmage. But like most of the defenses the Chiefs face, they have too many players that can defeat coverage and a quarterback that can distribute the ball accurately to outscore you. Last things as usual, I spend 5 hours to give my opinion in the video, but you can do it in just 5 seconds. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below. I always appreciate your opinion, even when you say I'm bad. Talk it 10 times and in 100 different videos. We all deserve our own voice.